When my kid wanted to go down the slide and there was a playwood there, I was like, why? Well, playground problems spotted on Hawaii Island and residents took it upon themselves to help solve those problems. Charles Lunalilo Playground is known by local residents as Blue Park because of its signature colored equipment. Now, Kiali TV4's Diane Ako tells us how Molly Romero made it her Nameapono or her noble cause to help save their beloved park. Even from far away, it's easy to see the state of disrepair at Charles Lunalilo Playground. The torn surface, faded equipment, and some slides boarded up. I took my little one to the park, and I saw the state of the park. It was a 4th of July, and there were plywoods where the slides used to be. The surfacing was just falling apart, and I said, why do we have this infrastructure for our keiki? That was in 2021, and Kona resident Molly Romero decided to do something about it. She asked the county for help, but was told there were no funds. Hawaii County confirms that and adds it really appreciates and counts on public-private partnerships like the one she created. I said, you know what? Something needs to be done about this. So I started a nonprofit. Romero started Kona Playgrounds Foundation, which now has about 15 members. She wants to raise $125,000 to improve the playground. She's a full-time realtor, mother, and wife. Where does she find the time to do this? It's uh, at midnight. <laughs> but this is important to her. Kids thrive when they're outdoors and having playgrounds that look up to par with our community is very important. Uh, the state of this specific park is just not acceptable. We need to do better as a community. Our kids deserve an amazing playground and uh, uh, what Mally's doing is just, it's just fantastic. I'm, I'm really grateful. Hey guys, Molly and Rachel from the Kona Playground Foundation. It is finally the day. In October, Romero had enough money to buy paint and some new equipment. Volunteers spent the day fixing up part of the playground. What she's done is already an amazing start and the playground has a different feel to it just with that little addition. Romero estimates it'll be another couple years until she can do more repairs, but it's a start. And her message to others is, take ownership in your neighborhood. If you see something in your community that needs attention, um, you can start a group, you can get together. Keep sharing, keep sharing our post, please. Keep, yes. Keep sharing the word, because we still got some more work to do. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Aloha. Thanks. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.